Salutations, this is Grimtafel. Welcome back to our Let's Play, or sorry, long play of RimWorld. I'm just realizing that the thrombos we had on the map a while ago are gone. They're just fully gone. They left. That's okay. Uh, you know, we tried to tame them. It wasn't worth killing them, I don't think. Uh, there are a lot of more animals on the map we could kill, but I think we still have a lot of meat. A decent amount of meat. Uh, plus our, you know, we don't have the biggest freezer. So I think it's fine. We're still making tons of pemmican. Wow, look at that. Three, th almost 3,200 pemmican right now. We've really upped our pemmican game. Mostly because we've had Varvara um, just dedicated to making pemmican and, sh as, and not as our main cook. Uh, so that's been really nice. We are going to get some more steel because we are running low a little bit. And actually, is there more plasteel where we started mining out plasteel? Which was here. Yes, there is. And we need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. A lot of animals on the map right now. Um, Kurt will probably work on that. Jarvis is working on... Oh, good. Now Jarvis is working on the assault rifle, which I think is fine. Jarvis has really good crafting skill. And it continues to go up and up and up. Yeah, it's going to be 8,000 soon. It's going to be uh, craft uh, 8 soon. And we'll get a nice assault rifle out of it. There should at least be a decent assault rifle. At least normal. If it's not normal, I'll be very upset. Um, really good thing for Jarvis to be doing, just because it uh, increasing our crafting skill at such a high rate because of your super bonus of being too smart and very neurotic, which gives you additional work speed and learning factor, plus you have passion for it. Just awesome. Uh, Rinnick's better, which is great. You're sleeping now, really? Do you need to be sleeping? You're pretty much fully rested here. What time is it? Yeah. Um, I, I assume you're going to be getting up in like any second. Yeah, your rest is 100%. There you go. I know you're cleaning. Good. Uh, we got haulers going. Everyone, we everything seems to be pretty much back to normal. Tangos has a little more hauling, uh, not hauling, uh, healing to do. But other than that, everything's looking pretty good. Meritrix and Gert are added over here. Although, I wish someone would do Plasteel first, but whatever. I'll let you finish this. Since you're here. Where are you going, Meyer? Oh, you're hauling that. That's fair. That's useful. That's useful. Um... Any other, like, animals annoying us around our base? Not really. None of the animal packs are getting too close. Uh, it would be great to haul in some more of this stuff. Uh, and that is exactly what Dorkling's doing. Thank you, Dorkling. We love you. We love you as a colonist and as a fan of the channel. Um, all right, let's see. Do we, do we need to chop down more? Our wood stocks are okay. Uh, we're, right now we just need wood for maces. I don't see any more wood just lying out on the ground, though. So that is, seems to be all the wood we have. I think we might want to flag some more. Because we're going to mostly want to make these maces out of wood. We'll chop these down. Chop that down. Chop you down. Chop you down. Okay. That's a few. Chop you down. Chop you down. Yeah, that's a bunch. Looks good to me. Has no one moved this yet? It's kind of stupid. Uh, Matrix is working on art. Fine. That's okay. Although that means we're not using sandstone for this. Well, that's slate. Uh, so we need sandstone here, really. And we have 137. Um, that is 30. Yeah, we should have enough here. I make the door out of sandstone, too. I think we have enough of that. Uh, I think this is all connected here. This should be on our grid. Yeah, it looks like it's on our grid. So now our power... We, our power is looking fantastic. We really don't need to worry about power at all. We could probably leave our turrets on. Although I'm not not going to right now. Uh, we are again running out of storage. Hmm. What are we going to do about that? Well... I guess we could make more. Summer has begun. I got, you know, um, more space. More storage space. Just kind of extend this out even further, I guess. I suppose. 
a little annoying. Summer is here. Uh, and with summer being here, we should think about when we want to leave again. The bionic is done. We were waiting for that. Let's take a look-see. Let's take a look-see right now. Uh, we don't have our maces yet, but we could focus on that. I'm just curious. If we added everybody, and still annoyed there's no add everybody button. Forty tiles per day without carrying anything. All that pemmican. Oh, right, right. For, uh, to do this right, we need to change everyone. And this is really annoying to, um, to have different meals. I wish we could do this Whoops, on a drop down on the screen like we do with the zones. I don't think we can, right? No. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. Woo! Um, phone caravan. All right. And now that people can actually eat the pemmican that we bring. Okay. 19 days. 20. 27 days of food. 27 days of food. Um, but how far can we move, right? We're going to want to bring our Nutramine. Uh, sure, bring the chem fuel. That'll be really useful for when we eventually do land somewhere. Bring our components. Um, bring our mids. Bring... Oh, not the uranium. We should probably do something with that uranium while we're here. Uh, all the bedrolls. And we'd have to uninstall. So this isn't a perfect test here. I'm just kind of looking. Got to remember I have the healer mech serum. Um, yeah, and we'd, we'd bring a lot of weapons. Uh, because we'll have to, because we're going to be trading some. Okay. All right, um, and yeah, we'd probably bring some marine armor, any flak stuff we have, advanced helmets. Uh, I don't know why we have this. We should get rid of that flak stuff. Oh, the flak stuff does weigh, and we want probably the parkas too. All right. Oh, that's enough for now, I think. Uh, and our gold and silver. Around 30 tiles per day. All right, let's choose a route. And how far can we get? Uh, if we get up here, 30.4 days. Wow. That's about what we can do. That's about what we want. This is not quite year round. The, this tile, that's where we want to go. Yeah, 30.5 days. 30.5 days. We could almost do it. But the thing to remember is that it's the beginning of summer right now, which means it would be winter by the time we got there, but it would, heat, it would be autumn when we'd be like down here. And... Or not autumn, but whatever. The cold, you know, it'd be start to get cold. Um, is that... Yeah, I guess autumn. It would be autumn. And it, it is a little colder down here. So it's a little risky. A little risky, but... Okay, you know what? We're going to continue to make pemmican while we're doing this. How many maces do we have? How many maces... Do we have? Uh, it's not going to show there, is it? Wow, we have 11 maces? We just need seven more maces. Uh, this says we need... Oh, because we have some uranium ones too. 
Hmm. I do want to wait for those. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. If we should go now, I want those maces. I would love to trade. Maybe I just really ramp that up. Uh, another smithy would take how many resources? Three components, 100 steel. You know what? I'm okay with that. Let's try to double up the production on that. Chio. The blocks are good. Work on that. Because we can get two people doing that at the same time. And maybe we can try to get out of here soon. Um, it might be, you know, it's risky. It's risky going out there because we, we do run the risk of the seasons changing fast while we're on the road and our movement slowing down a lot. We do run that risk. But it might be okay. Our pemmican's doing so good right now. And we're going to continue to make it. We're going to keep doing it. Oh, uh, I, I almost forgot. We definitely want to move these back to short-term food before everyone eats our pemmican. And then I got to remember to change it back when we actually leave. But it looks like we might be able to leave very soon. I think so. Uh, and our food's just going to go up and up, especially since we keep having food uh, growing and, uh, and being made into pemmican and, and meals. Which makes me think, um, well, that, which is great. So even if our the amount of time goes up uh, for us to walk there, like if we want to carry more things, that might be okay. Might be okay. Okay. All right. We don't have a lot of room for all these maces. Um, what can I do about that? Do I just expand it? Are the maces ugly? Yeah, they're, everything's ugly. Everything's ugly. I could put some stuff in the prison. I don't think we're going to use it right now. We are going to just put maces in here, because we're not going to be selling those maces. Just maces. Critical priority. Okay. Someone will move the maces into there, and that'll free up some space. I could also move the bed out. But just in case, we're going to keep it in there. Eh, whatever. Well, if I uninstall it... Eh, whatever, just leave it. All right. Let's go. And we will want to deconstruct things for components, probably. Yeah, she's working on that, which is fair. You know what? I actually don't care. This is not that important. If someone... Just finish what you're doing over here. But if someone comes and destroys that, it's not even the biggest deal. Yeah, work on other things. Uh, work on that chair. Good. And let's copy that bill, now that you've made that. And then, uh, I don't know how we did this here, but copy this also. Paste it. This one is just, well, yeah, do wood first. Fair. So now more than one person can work on that at a time. Uh, can you just finish the chair, please? Okay. Pretty exciting. The prospect of leaving here is exciting. This group has uh, traveled a lot. This is, you know, they started in, well, these four. The first four here started in Grim de Velfia, which has now been de totally destroyed, which was our main base. Uh, they even, Meyer and Chia w lived on a mining colony while they lived there for a while. 
Then they all moved, settled in hard winter. Now we settled at the Honesty Campsite and we're thinking about moving again. And the Honesty Campsite, just to remind you, the way the reason that it looks like this layout is because this used to be a pirate base that we took over. Which was fun. <laughs> Uh, all right. Making maces. Making maces. What are we up to? I think we're going to get these maces done pretty quickly. I say 15? Yeah. Look at us. Um, I don't know how many we're making out of wood. We probably are starting to make them out of steel. But you know what? That's kind of okay. I don't know if we're going to be bringing a lot of that, want to bring a lot of that steel with us. So I guess that's okay. Um, but I will look for other trees to chop just cause. Uh, oh, T, T does that. Well, that's good to know. I never knew what the hotkey for that was. I always knew G for that, but T, that's it. That's going to make my life easier. All right. There's some more trees. Okay. Jarvis has a break. Well, that's not super surprising. You're going to continue to have break risk. Your toe was destroyed. That's so sad. Why are you still sweaty? Why are you always sweaty? And even though you're nude. Is it your... I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's weird. It's what it is. Um... Okay. Pemmican continues to go up. We're gonna, we might hit 4,000 soon. Our meat stocks are okay. We could maybe use a little more. Certainly kill any animals right around here. Um, there are no herds that are super, super close to us. Um... Yeah, and our muffalo right now are just grazing, which is fine. All right. There, we got wood. We're making maces. Chio's making a wooden mace. We're making a steel mace here. That's okay. It'd be great to get this assault rifle done, too. I think Jarvis will be able to do that very soon. Uh, is that Barbara hunting? Yeah. And maybe Barbara could do some butchering. Bavar, what's your cooking skill now? Has it gone up? Hey, a prisoner rescue quest. Well, that's interesting. Um, bio, cooking. Yeah, it hasn't gone up that much. That's okay. It's good enough to uh, hunt the hare. Okay, fine. All right. A prisoner being held by the poison partners has managed to steal a radio and call us. Upgrade, their name is Upgrade, is being held at a camp nearby under armed guard. Rescue him and he will join your colony. He's a 17-year-old sickly child? There's only two turrets and one enemy. That's very easy. But you're far away. That's the thing. Uh, that's not that far. And one, tur two turrets and one enemy is very easy. But your name is Upgrade and you're sickly. Which means you're probably good at crafting, which is nice. But there's no telling how good you are at fighting. And I think it's not worth it. You'd probably just slow us down. So we're not going to go after that, unfortunately. Despite, if it was like on the road, then sure. And then maybe we'd take you or not take you. I don't know. But um, after we saw you. But yeah, just because it's out of the way. And every day is going to count when we're traveling. We're also going to want to make sure we have advanced components when we travel. Uh, do we have any? Right now we don't. And we used components for other stuff. <sighs> All right, I guess keep working on that. Let's let's make one advanced component at the top because you need an advanced component to make a fabrication bench. No, you need two. Okay, make two. That is top priority. Because uh, we're going to want to make a fabrication bench wherever we land so that we can do other things and make more advanced components. It's a chicken-egg situation. And we'll bring our plasteel. So thank you, Gert, for grabbing that, for mining that out. Are we going to find any? I don't think there's going to be any more plasteel here. 
Um, but good. Thank you. Uh, I will make sure that you haul that with you when you're done. What are you doing? Aren't you amazing at mining at this point? Yeah, you're good. Could be better. Yeah, you're fast learner. I, I like that we have fast learners and careful shooters. Bring it with you. What are you doing? Yeah, all right. I don't know why you only brought 28. Um, probably doing pretty good on the maces here. It says we have 18. That's enough. Um, but the job... Why does it say 12? Is that including clubs? Is that what it's doing? No. What's the deal? If I add another job to make mace and say do until I have 18. Oh, I have 19 maces. Yeah, because this is... Mm -hmm. Does that include ones we're wielding? Do we care? Uh, we also have all this uranium. And we don't know what to do with it. We have them. Now make them out of uranium. And maybe we can just sell those. We don't need that. Because what else are we going to do? Okay. Okay. Speed things up. All right, Meritrix is making a uranium mace. Jarvis Watts is... Heat wave, that's a little annoying. It's pretty annoying. Um... Oh, you did it. Jarvis made the gun, and I think Jarvis is going to take that gun. Yep. He's putting it there, but then just go ahead. It's good. It's a good gun. Great. All right. Um, so we could leave here next episode. It's still the first. We did it. We got a lot done in a day. Um, yeah. Yeah. We may leave next episode, especially with a heat wave going on here. I don't know. But we'll find out. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.